All right. So when we last left off, you guys had just uh, defeated a rather large uh, lizard um, uh, referred to as the dragon. Um, so you had just, um, you know, conquered the dragon uh, with, you know, moderate success, I would say. Uh, no one died, so I guess that's a good thing. The um, You also blew up a room shortly before that. Um, so that was something that was done as well, uh, where there were lots of rats, and you ran into some goblins down here. Arnie learned a valuable lesson. Arnie learned a lesson about silence is golden. Um, so otherwise you might get eaten by rats. So all of these things are uh, where we're at, left off. Uh, do we have any business or anything that we didn't attend to last time that we need to attend to now? I think, Chris, uh, you had to level up. Um, yeah, that's, really, all that's, it is is hit points. Yeah, I'm all set. Good. Uh, we got a circlet, and like we skinned the wizard as well, right? Yeah, that's, I guess, where we can start. Let me go ahead and throw us over on the map. Um, all right. So... Da, 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 where we were at. So, so yeah, you guys were basically, I'm talking, if you want to spend time, you can skin it and like do things like that. Remember, everything costs time. So that's a big thing. Right now, it is currently 7 in the p.m. 7 in the p.m. So you uh -huh. guys can, um, you know... As you see fit, do that. I would say to skin a, a giant lizard, um, to at least attempt it, I'm talking, you're probably looking at at least a half hour. You guys good with spending a half hour skinning this lizard? Arnie, Arnie would like to search around while you're doing that, maybe a little more in depth. Okay. Well, they. Uh, I'm assuming that you guys searched around. That's why I just gave you the treasure last time. We kind of had to wrap up because yeah. we're hitting that 10 o'clock hour. So I kind of hand waved that. Uh, normally I don't, but I hand waved it because of the time constraints in the real world. Um, so you've already done the search. So really, the, the really lizard, bad. deciding what you want to do with the lizard. You have a decapitated lizard here. You got to figure that it's about the size of a, you know, um, one of those, like, uh, you know, giant the lizards that have all the bacteria in their mouth. I can't think of their names right now. Komodo dragon. dragon? Yeah, like, imagine, like, a like a really big Komodo dragon. Like, it, it right. you know, like, on the larger end of Komodo dragon. Um, oh. Beef, if, a little sorry, beefier, yeah. but in general, that's the size that we're talking here. Oh, so only one person could probably be armored with it. Okay. Is, is the hide and the the meat worth it? Worth like money? I would assume it would be, right? How well, would you the know hide? <laughs> the hide is extremely tough. It is tough. So I'm thinking. So I'm thinking I could mod it into armor, like mod it into someone's armor and make their armor a bit tougher. So, so, so I will say this: thing? you are really um, you're good with forging things. But uh -huh. that you're really getting into the realm of a tanner um, ah. with this, because you're making then leather. I will get a tanner to do it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying that that's that's the nature of it. This isn't a mechanical process that's happening. Uh, this will be a uh, you know a chemical process. Mm -hmm. Arnie wants to chop off two hands and see if he can use them as like suction cups and try I... to the wall just to see test. Um, you test it. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know exactly how lizards climb walls, like what the physics is and everything, but oh, I'm sure uh, it doesn't work with rigor mortis and death. Yeah, so there, it's that. So I don't, I don't think it'll. Oh, I don't know with friction. Maybe if you made some gloves out of it, how's that? All right, let's save the let's save the legs. <laughs> All right, so yeah, basically they they have little uh, hooks under each of the fingers and stuff, which allow them to climb so well so usually you can't like in hands 
So, like when someone skins an animal, they they chop off the hands usually. So, uh, the uh, it works with it. Well, so, so it'll I'm be. Assuming you're... Everyone seems I'm to be assuming... chopping this thing up. So I assume the thirty minutes is definitely going by because <laughs> everyone yeah. seems to be like taking bits and pieces. It did have one really large horn that was coming out the top. Um, oh yeah, head. I. I was thinking about doing something with it, which, the uh... Horn, the horn seems like a trophy, if anything. We could probably well, sell that for some money. I, I do want to cut the he head off. Uh, it's already it. decapitated. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. Like, yeah, you, the head and... you decapitated yeah, you, it. Yeah, you were the one who <laughs> decapitated it. Uh, I want to take the head and you know, put it in my bag okay you can do that that's not Wait. a so you but, have uh, yeah what i was what i was thinking is uh we'd probably how much meat can we get off this thing well if you want to if you want to butcher it instead of just tan it that's probably going to take another half hour you guys want to do it we wouldn't have to pay for we wouldn't have to like waste our rations for a while sure Got it. Doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So you guys will spend another half hour um, doing that. At the end of that time, your lantern will go out. Um, so ah. you need to spend another oil if you want to um, keep keep light. Yeah, I'll spend another oil. Okay. So we're in the dragon the dragon's den, right? Yeah, we're in the dragon's den, and we killed the dragon. Okay. And we got the dragon's loot. And we got the dragon's horn. All right. Oh so... yeah. Uh, I forgot to ask, but how exactly? What exactly does that circlet look like? The circlet? I said it yeah. matched the the cuffs. Ah. Okay. It has the filigree on it, and it's got the... It's like silver with inlaid kind of green filigree. It looks very kind of leafy, viney kind of. Um, so it, it looks like it's elven made. Boris is trying to go from the least uh, tricked out person to the most tricked out person. So, hey, Arnie. Listen. <laughs> real quick, just to let you know, Arnie, um, you you start coughing. <laughs> just to let you know so oh, uh, no. you guys spend now who's doing the, the, the tanning and who's doing the meat cutting uh, well I think I think we're him. just gonna wait till we get back to the city to tan the uh, lizard hide well you can't you can't uh, cut it up for meat unless you're like I mean tanning it and the fact of skinning it I'm sorry I should say skinning oh. it Who's skinning okay. it and who I'll, is uh, butchering I'll, it? I'll do one thing. Okay. We, I can uh, butcher it. You can I butcher guess. it, and we will let um, Oak and Shield skin it. Uh, each of you give me a wisdom roll. Because that's what this oh, is going to be. Oh, I should have done the skinning. <laughs> <laughs> so just the, the wisest uh, Any actually. threshold modifier? No threshold modifier, just a straight wisdom check. Uh, yeah, let me let me do the skinning because I have a higher wisdom. Nope, nope. You've already, that's why I asked before the roll. Oh you no, want. you didn't choose. Oh no. So okay. Go. So uh, that that's... is a big fail. So that's a oh, really bad come fail. Come on. So. <laughs> no, the one time I won't hide. <laughs> so, yeah. You still toss out rolls, so. <laughs> All right, um, uh, Horace, go ahead and give me a um. Let's roll. Uh, I want to say two d six. Roll two d six for me. All right. Uh, let's see where. The, uh. Four. So <laughs> that's how many rations you get. You have four fresh rations. <laughs> wow, such great rolling, guys. It's, you know, four more rations than you had. 
No, mine would be good if it was for attacking. <laughs> so I'm guessing we don't get the hide at all. No, the hide is <laughs> the hide is pretty much thrashed. So God. you're you're a, you're you're a dwarf. You have a really good sharp blade and everything like that. Um, but you're more used to like hiding things like sheep and you know rats and you can hide like rabbits and stuff like that you've never done a reptile before and apparently it's very different so um it just doesn't come off the way you would expect it to come off and it ends up just getting torn um it's really strong from the outside but from the underside it's really vulnerable and it like the knife just kind of goes right through and it, it ends up getting really shredded I'm guessing if I actually had been able to mod it into an armor, it would have made a very good armor. You don't know. Uh, well, it would be good find, for... Find another giant lizard and skin it. <sighs> okay. So... Who so... wants the food? I've got plenty right now. So. You could probably just put it in the group, like the group fund, the group story. Yeah, yeah. Put, sure. Put it on the donkey or the whatever we have, the mule. Well, you don't have it on the mule yet, but just you can note it that it, you know, that it's there. It's mm -hmm. not going to weigh anyone down. Four four rations isn't going to weigh anyone down, so I'm not worried about the the weight on someone. Um, all right. Um, so what's your next plan of action? We should probably head back to. The camp. Yeah, is that, well, is what that time on, is it? On the way, the way out. Eight p.m. It's eight p.m. Oh yeah, yeah. We should probably go back to camp. Arnie's not feeling too hot. He agrees. <laughs> yep. You know, I'm not sure, but I think those rats did something to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking, you don't feel great. Yeah, let's go back to camp. He's looking a little more green. <laughs> you know, that reminds me. Has my blood loss healed? The I believe it has, because you guys stayed in town. Uh, Let me take a look. Okay, sorry. I, I've got notes for, for this sort of thing. Yeah. So, crew, are we thinking of uh, going We're back? We're going to back to camp. Yeah. Going down for the night. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's gone. Okay. Right. At this point, you guys stayed in town long enough to to kind of do that. All right, um, give me two seconds. I'm going to pull up a different map here. Uh, <laughs> Arnie's not feeling good. Where is my map? All right, this is map. where we're at. So y'all are looking to head back up? Is that the the thing? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Head back over here. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to roll a couple to see if you guys hit anything on the way out. Is anybody keeping track on the... Uh... Let me let me do it. I can do it. All right. Google Doc and the... Uh... So... Oh, I'm doing the map notes. All right. That's cool. 
Oh. I don't. We haven't put anything in the Google Doc. If you, unless you want guys want to put the the skull in there, Tazo. So you guys get to the bottom of the stairs and start climbing. Um, at this point, Arnie, you start getting the chills, like up and down, and you start mm-hmm. coughing, and uh, you like hack up a little bit of like phlegm, and it's got blood in it. Hmm. Does not sound good. Does not sound good. Guys, okay. this is no good. Can About I show you the flame. Let's see. Okay, hey, so got... hey uh, Horace, do you uh, know any good spells that might help? Do I know any spells that might help? Like uh, maybe cure grave wound. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, do I know any spells that might help? Uh, do you know any spells that might help? I don't know, you you know your spells? Right now... I mean, I have... I don't think I have anything that would help. So, the, um, you make it up to the door. Um, Arnie, you almost don't make it up the stairs. In fact, a couple people have to help you. Um, as you're going up, you start wheezing a little bit and you start coughing more and like, you're like kind of sapped of energy. We have anti-venom, right? Uh, do you? Guys, we have anti-venom, right? I don't believe so. I think Arnie made some, had some made. No. Ah, well, uh, <laughs> sorry, Arnie. I can, can I offer you a D6 in these trying times? <laughs> he has some cream. Um, he has some yeah, cream. I'm, I'm guessing Cure Light Wounds wouldn't help. You can attempt it if you would like. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll attempt. So let me just roll 2d6 since we're out of combat. Oh, well, you get. You get three. (laughs) So I get three hit points back? You get three hit points back. All right, up to 11. And that's it? Yeah, but you're still coughing and everything like that. Oh, no. Mm. So, Need you guys... Ventilator. Uh, Arnie, how many hit points do I have? He has 11, currently. Yeah. I don't think hit points are going to play much. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> think hit points are going to save you uh, now. <laughs> so, the reason I was asking, just in case if some, something happens during the night, when we start losing hit points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Just like every hour. just we may, we may need to get Arnie back to town. <laughs> Everyone, um, pull in your characters here. Right here. Uh, we cannot. Okay. Sure. Can you see? Or no? Uh, no. Black for me. Okay, let me... Yeah. I can place my character in and move him around, but I can't see where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, no! Without the wizard! <laughs> oh, come on! Without the wizard? <laughs> so, um... Let me grab some things. So right now, what I'm going to say is Vance it, uh, and Hagertha are guarding Arnie. Arnie is is uh. is down, and there's there's that. Sorry. Uh, oh, oh, no, put it oh there. no! So it's just the three of us. So I'll put. 
Oh no! Girth there. Advance de Fure. I'll put him over here. And then I will put our bad guys on the other side. Let me guess, it's the red coats, isn't it? I don't know. What in the world? Oh, it's hobgoblins. So we've got that. And where the heck is it? All right. So standing across from you in the wilds of the night. You see, uh, oh, wait, I'm missing one. Oh, no, no, there's six. I'm sorry. Six um, squat green humanoid figures that have small blades and uh, tiny shields. Um, and they're, they appear to be licking their lips. And you see a rather tall, maybe six foot tall, hairy kind of... Um, humanoid that's standing above them who's got a big like cleaver basically uh with him and uh they look at you and they also look at the fact that you have a down companion and they're looking at you like you're lunch <laughs> hmm. they don't have range though do they you don't know it's ah, dark that's... and it's hard to see that's a problem. So, um... The big one in the back starts speaking. Um, does anyone speak uh, Goblin? Or... Yes. Um, Me. Okay. Yeah, Goblin, yeah. The and dwarves do. The people with the low charisma. The dwarves, I basically. He I got says, 15. Oh, wow. He says, All right. I heard you were picking on my friends. Now, put down all your valuables and we'll let you go. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, who were we picking on? <laughs> In Goblin. I go. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell back at him and, and curse in Goblin. Curse at him in Goblin. Yeah, it's something like... That is solving nothing! A, a Goblin curse is something like, you're extremely clean! And he's just like, no, I'm not! I'm not! Your mom is the tidiest person I've ever met! <laughs> so, um... All right. Then let's go ahead and switch to combat rounds. I have a tendency to believe that this is not going to be resolved through diplomacy. I mean, it would if they spoke common or fairy. That's a little racist. Like, everyone should speak common. <laughs> I see how it is. I see how it is. Um, all right. Um, Thondon, go ahead and roll initiative for the group. Roll that d6. I got a two. D6. Please. Please. Oh! All right, y'all get to choose what you want to do. Um, I will. Uh, I mean, I guess if nobody, else, I'll I'll shoot one of them with a crossbow. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast. Uh, I should have said I was casting, shouldn't I? You should have. No, but you what, not, you, right? what do you what 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 are you thinking about casting? Uh, protection from evil on myself. Okay. All right, so I'll yeah. let you cast protection from evil. 
Um, and if you're going to take a crossbow shot, go ahead and take a crossbow shot. Okay. I'll just uh, yeah. shoot one of the one of the like six guys there. The, one of the lowly guys. The goblins. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing the same thing too. Okay. I hit one. Ooh, damn. Okay. Ooh. That one dies. Ouch. Yeah. So you take aim with your crossbow and like line it up and poop. Take one and you like you hit him in the throat. Like you're you're very clean. He's like I'm not clean. <laughs> and like he dies. And then uh, yeah. I'll move to I'll, yeah. I'll to the or like move toward them as you well. Uh, I'll drop I'll drop my crossbow and move. Yep. Draw your weapons. Um, move four. Uh, I'm one, just moving two, up one. Actually, I'm going to move up equal with him. Yeah. Okay. They evict us. Let's go. All right. Woo -woo 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 -woo. You cast protection from evil. You now have protection from evil on you. Uh huh. Okay. So let's see. Uh... Second. All right, they're going to do some moving themselves. You know what I've been wondering? Can you stack blesses and blights? What? How? Like, if you, well, if you're blighted, yeah, you could bless and it would offset the penalties. No, I mean, could you blight someone and then blight them again? No. Oh, okay. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to look that up. I don't know. I know in certain editions that was different. not allowed, but in other editions, because in I know in second edition they specifically say you can only be blessed once and nothing stacks with it except one particular spell called aid. Aid does stack with bless. That was always the combo was to do bless aid. Um but I don't know. I'd have to take a look. Uh for right now my ruling's gonna be no. Um uh, uh. But I will I I will take a look at it. Alright, so Ugh. Oh, didn't mean to stretch him. Uh <laughs> there we go. Why is that thing moving so fast? They don't wear as heavy armor as you guys do. Or in other words, they're easy to kill. Um, are in most fantasy games, goblins are kind of easy to kill. You guys have fought several goblins before. Yeah. This guy goes there. Uh, yeah, he'll go here. Um, all right. Uh, give me one second. Um, let's see. Where is... Rifon. Where is... Can you put Rifon on the board here? Who? Wait, one of the dwarves? No. Where is my rife on? Try to take a look. Oh. Boom. Is that again? That's an elf. I don't think we've ever met an elf. <laughs> rife on, would you like to take an action? Who? I don't. I'm trying to. Sorry, I was muted. There. I was talking to you guys the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> As I was sitting there, like, what? Would you like to take an action? Yes. Uh, he'd like to shoot. Okay. Um, when did we meet an elf? <laughs> Actually, just uh... now. <laughs> Uh, 
the real question is, who did only meet that was no? <laughs> so yeah. <go> ahead. <laughs> question is, when did Arnie meet an elf? <laughs> Arnie did not meet any elf. All right. This is a new character. So go ahead, and are you going to do uh, a bow attack, or what are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, Rifen would like to pull his bow back and take a, a nice shot. Who are you shooting at? The big bad. Okay. Go ahead. That shot is going to go slightly wide. Mm. So, th as it streaks by, but it does get his attention. He does do a, what? And, like, turns around, like, what's <laughs> going on here? All right. Um, I think that's everyone. Um, we're going to roll initiative. I'm going to ask, uh, does anyone want to cast spells? Uh, that, that would be my next thing. Uh, no, I'm good. Rifon, would you like to cast a spell? No, Rifon's good. Okay. Wait a second. We have a we have a third spellcaster. He he knows one spell. He he's knows an, one spell. He's an elf. Elves know magic. Ah. The um. Let me see here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So. Let's see. Uh, let's roll d6. Um, since we have our new person here, Rifon, go ahead and roll a d6. So is Arnie actually dead? Like, completely dead? We'll get into that soon. He's definitely down. Go ahead, um, Eric. Go ahead and roll initiative. I, I got a three the first time and a two the second time. Oh, I didn't see you. Uh, yeah, but does not beat my six, though. Um, so these guys are going to go ahead and go. All right. Um, so we're going to have a guy move here. Here. Here, here, close you off there. This guy, while he sees you back there, there's still the bigger threat over here. He's going to go here and attack over the top. So, um, we've got some attacks to go. Uh, attack everybody else before before I come in. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Well, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, you can jump in because we've got a round. <laughs> Uh, you guys are at the bottom of it, so we didn't think you're gonna be here. Awesome! You're, you're currently <laughs> taking care of Arnie. Yeah, you're oh taking care of an unconscious Arnie. Oh, my um, poor sweet baby boy. Uh, he's sick. <laughs> Is it catching? <laughs> so uh, he's coughing, and then he was falling down. Yeah, he started coughing up some blood, and and he started. Uh, not being able to breathe well, and then he started f getting the chills and everything like that, so he yes. is not good. And then he passed out right before this fight. Bar, great. So, the goblins are going to make their attacks. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oak and shield, you're going to get two versus you. Um, so go ahead and roll. I'm actually going to move him there. Oh, uh, move, you're fine. Um, <laughs> and uh, Thondin, go ahead and roll three. You are fine as well. Um, all right. So, yeah, they, they start clanking and they're bashing shields up against you and stuff like that. Wow. So there's a little bit of a melee there. Um, you guys will get to go. And then the big guy is going to go last because he's got a big weapon. He's got a big polearm weapon. Um, so okay. he's gonna a big cleaver thing. Um, so it's y'all. Um, wait a second. So wait, right does on. he? Go sorry, ahead. sorry. It's uh, does he does he have a uh, a uh, war scythe? 
Mm, yeah, probably something uh, something akin to it. It's it, I'm talking. It's not well put together or anything. It's basically like he took a big cleaver and wrapped a string around a pole. <laughs> so ah. it's it's not the best thing ever, but you know it's brutal. Uh. I'm going to attack the one one in front of me. Okay, go ahead and roll. Bam. I think <laughs> So that one goes down can, as can you he, he it starts doing a little bit of, you know, trying to dodge and stuff like that and you're just like screw it, and you just go straight for the chest and like <laughs> uh, it goes right through its armor like, "Uh, leather is not good." Um and okay. I'll, I'll hit the one in front of me too. Just make it easy. Well, hold on. He's. Yeah. Do you want to move? Is that what you're uh, trying to do? Yeah. Yep. You can slide up. <laughs> so you can do an attack and then a move. So you slide up in there. All right. Um. And Thondon, what do you want to do? I'm gonna hit the guy in front of me. Okay. That definitely hits, and that will kill him. So, boom. So basically, you you give a good. You're like you're you guys are like dwarven bash brothers, and you're just kind of plowing through <laughs> these dudes. <laughs> they have a natural enmity towards you. You guys, you you know, dwarves deathly hate el- uh, goblins, and goblins deathly hate dwarves. So there there is a a, a, a hatred here. And um, I think we were, we were like the killer bees. Yep, from Naruto. If we guys get the reference, I don't, but I'm sure it's Stop. great. Stop. Apparently, they get the <laughs> reference. So, uh, we still have Vance, Agurtha, um, and Horus. Horus is moving up. Okay. And I'm going to attack this guy. Cool. Give him a, give him a punch. Come on. Uh, God. Uh, nope. <laughs> so he's a little too quick uh, for you. Your mace is a little heavy, a little slow. Um, so he's there. Um, I've got Hagertha, Vance, and Rifon. Anyone? One of the. Um, I don't have control of the tokens, but. Oh, uh, it's because I pulled them on the board. Just yeah. Go ahead and pull them Help back on. Out. This little this guy. This guy. Well, Goethe's um never one to to shy away from fights. So with a, a mighty by Odin's eye to battle, she'll uh, see if she can help out here. Okay. Oh, uh, you weren't here for the. Early. We've been cursing Adam and Goblin, so you know. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, yeah, so, just calling them queen. <laughs> with winter wolf unsheathed, she strikes. Ka-cha. But not like a really good strike, more like just trying to show <laughs> off a little bit. If it would have hit, it would have been. She basically gives it her all. Like, she baseball bat swings that. It comes from, you know, 12 o'clock all the way around to 12 o'clock to hit the thing. The, the problem is, it's a little too high. Uh, but if it would have hit, it would have done some massive damage. He's used to chopping, you know, human-sized enemies, not these diminutive underlings. It's too <laughs> bad, correct. really. All right, I still got two more of you. Rifen would like to shoot his short bow at the okay. big bed. Give it a shot. Oh, we have a new NPC to replace our slowly dying NPC. <laughs> I see. Or PC, PC rather. Yeah, PC. I, I understand what's happening now. Exactly. So you managed to tag him, um, but it doesn't seem like it does anything. So you definitely hit him with the bow. You just hit him in a part of the body that, like, he just kind of pulls it out and a little bit of blood comes out. It just didn't look like it did anything to him. Like, you just didn't hit him any place vital. Like, you got him in, like, the fat of the arm. You missed the first, so got to aim for the big... But right, you know, you know, yeah, center mass. So, all right, and does Vance want to do anything? Um, he doesn't, but uh, you know, he probably should. Um, 
So Arnie is like choked. Has he like suddenly fallen ill and is choking to death on his own blood, or he's been sick yeah. for a little while now, or he's what? He's been sick for about an hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. pretty bad. Pretty yeah, sick. and uh, Horus doesn't have the spells to cure him of whatever ailment he has. That is suboptimal to say the least. Well, um, Horus, Horus cast a cure light wounds on him, and it did heal his wounds that he had from previous right. fights. But he did not get better. I got gotcha. you. And we don't we don't know Rifen yet. He still has to explain himself. He's right, he's over there looking fancy with his bow. Oh, uh, yeah. Classic. How about um, I use the old god stri- scripture on him? You and that freaking I'm gonna <laughs> burn it is what's gonna happen. Just it's getting burnt. I'm gonna move within twenty to So let's do it this way. So Two, five. Oh, okay, I'm in the range. So, um, reluctantly, uh, Vance will uh, palm one of the uh, throwing knives he keeps on his bandolier and attempt to to dart this uh, this goblin is menacing his stalwart colleague. It's not quite a game of uh, throwing knives back at the pub, but uh, the principle ought to be the same. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Uh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. It goes real <laughs> wide. <laughs> real wide. Like, it <laughs> didn't hit any of us, though, did it? No, it ends up, like, over here. <laughs> like, mm. It hits a bee's nest, and they come and attack us. Listen, right. this is why I leave war to the warriors, fellas. Just just keep your marks to yourself. So, uh, <laughs> the big guy's gonna take a swing. Um, so he's gonna come down oh. on, um, um... Oaken Shield is right in front of him. Oaken Shield, go ahead and roll to get out of the way. He cracks you one good. Oh, dear. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did how did he get Tasso yeah. with? He's got a really good plus to hit. <laughs> so, oh. Like, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, but some monsters have good to hits. <laughs> it's just what they do. Like this I'm guy's gonna... this guy's all beef. Uh yeah. you, will, you will take whatever this is plus one. Eleven. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Can I offer you a D six in these trying times? So Ouch, dude. He, yeah, that would be nice. He um he has that big like, you know, cleaver pole arm thing. And he like, boom! And like you're like, this armor's gonna hold. And like you're, you kind of like do raise like a shoulder into it because he's uh you're busy dealing with goblins and stuff like that. And like he catches it hard and it goes in. Um, it doesn't blood you, but you probably think that like your collarbone is broken. So the armor holds because it's decent armor. But it just hits with such like baseball bat force. You hear a crack when he when he does that. Did his weapon also break? No. What? It's a really tough string. <laughs> All right. So we have a new round of initiative. Um, I will go ahead since um, Oak and Shield, you got bludgeoned. Um, I will go ahead and let you roll initiative. <laughs> That's like a oh, seven. pretty good. I got a five, so so we're all going oh, at the same no. time. Wait, wait. Doesn't this still mean that no matter what, if we kill him, he won't take his turn? No, he will take his turn. Oh, okay. We're we're going simultaneously. That is that okay. is the thing. So it's a simultaneous. Uh, actually, no. He goes last in initiative because he has a big weapon. So nice. if you yeah. can take him out. He, he, so about he's... that, about that. So Rifen wants to go for a disarming shot, okay, or a staple shot. Well, staple shot, you got to have something to staple him to. Yeah, I, it was disable and staple in the in the book. It was oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's thing. fine. Yeah, then you could try that. I'll let you try that. Go for right. it. So but that will be a thing. That, it said I have to go last, correct? Or close yeah, to last? close close to last. So you're gonna roll off with the beast to see who goes first because he's slow and now you're slow so because right. you're you're slow because you're taking careful aim yep 
So, all right. For those that are in the crowd, I have um, I have used, if you are wondering and you are an OSR kind of person, the complete book of elves from second edition D&D, my player asked if he could use some of the cool elven shots from that, and I said, sure. Um, we'll test it out and see how it goes for those in the crowd. <laughs> so he is trying to disarm him with a shot. All right. Um, but that will go, but I determined since we don't use group initiative, we use group initiative, not individual. It just makes them slow. So to keep it fair. All right. Uh, Um, but I will let all of y'all take your actions before they take their actions, even though they're all going simultaneous, except for the big guy. How much health does Tasso have? I don't. Ah, I should probably heal you. Yeah, probably. So I'm liking the big guy. Yeah, let me let me heal you first. He's just going last, so it does, doesn't really matter. No, he no. It, it will matter. It actually will matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go. Let let me heal him first. Okay. <laughs> go. Uh, hold isn't, on. Isn't heal touch? Do they have to be touching? Yeah, he's right, I'm right, he's right here. there. Oh, okay, cool. Can I offer you a three in these trying times? You get three wow. back, but three's enough that, that he, he can't get one shot. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Three's enough that he can't get killed in one hit. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's solid. Um, so that's, that's really you. Uh, Vance, are you going to cast? Oh, I'm, I'm going to cast. All right, then I'm I'll let you go. I'm churning up some magic. Churn up that magic, then. Wait, is that how good throw an elf? One. No, Hagertha's a, uh, She's a human. barbarian, I think. Barbarian, yep. She's a fighter. Yeah. She's not a barbarian. Ah. Just because they're from another place you haven't been doesn't mean they're barbarians, guys. No, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. She gets angry often. Well, so. that's just a personality flaw. I will say that... That is a that is a trapping of third edition D and D on that barbarians are like berserkers and that they that's what they do is they rage. Pre third edition D and D barbarians are more just like I hate to cast it in this light I really do but this is how they made it. This is not me saying that it's appropriate or right but they're a lot like Native Americans as we consider like your plains Native Americans kind of. Um, they're a lot like uh. that. Uh, they know you know how to do horsemanship and they jump climb they fight um stuff like that I, sure i of, think it's just kind of straight conan it of, is, of it's, samaria man yeah these guys i don't think do you guys know conan do you know have you read conan yeah okay uh, no not i've watched. seen the movie okay i've seen both of them it's very conan um i just didn't think that re- i thought that reference might go over y'all so i was trying to give one that was a little you know, Listen, we universe. might be young, but we're, we're not perfect. that young. It's it's an older movie, um, so it's an older movie, and it, and especially their older books. Uh, so, well, they were old books when we were born, dude. Right? Yeah, they were. <laughs> you were born way before me. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were quite a, we're, quite the we're thing the now. So, but yes, yeah, spells. All of the spells. What are you casting? Oh, okay. I, I figured I would go last, but <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna whip out the old sleep ski there. Okay. So oh. give give nice. the two d eight. Oh, all right. If we're doing it, in that case, <laughs> by our kentrills, all seeing eye, sleep fiend. Cha-cha-cha. Um, I'm going to target. I mean, I guess it's it's low station first, so. But hopefully, try to try to give these guys a little bit of the pep up. Five garbage. <laughs> well, doesn't that hit five people? No, it hits five. No, it's five hit, hit dice. dice, which is potentially the mix. But we'll see. Oh, so, so um, well, all of this is going to go simultaneously. So the goblins are still going to get to do their thing. Um, right. So we will, uh, but it could be something different. You know, the outcome. All right, so those are done. Um, let's go ahead and um, Horace, uh, you've already gone. Um, yeah. Oak and Shield, go ahead and take your action. 
Yeah, now if you roll a nat 1, you won't be insta-killed. Oh. oh, dear. So, you um, you managed to hit the guy, but it's a lot like um, Rifon up there. Like, you hit him, basically, like, you take your axe and you, like, pop him in the side really hard. Um, and he seems to, like, go, ooh, but it doesn't do, like, lasting damage. So. How much health does this guy have? Well, I think he has as much as the dragon. When you roll well, really close to his AC, but you don't roll, like, you don't roll, like, really bad. Really bad means, to me, it means you miss. But if you roll really uh, close to it, then it means it hits the armor and it doesn't go through. Or, you uh, know, the guy's just tough enough to take it. So that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, all right, Thondon. Yep, rolling. One sec, two seconds. I assume you're attacking yeah. the goblin next to you? Sure, yeah, one of the goblins. Pick one, okay. doesn't really matter. Boom. Uh, hey, oh. hit one. Yep, so he's... This one is dead, but it will be, but it's he's nice. still, still going to get an attack. Yeah, go ahead. So I've rolled 2D, 2d20s for both of them, right? Yep, they're going to strike back, so 2d20. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. Her girth has got to go, but... Oh, well, shit. Oh. Go oh ahead. Oh my god. That is go improbable. Go <laughs> ahead and attack the, the other guy twice. Okay. <laughs> That can only happen one out of 400 times. And all the luck spent it once. <laughs> the 8 doesn't, but the 11 will. I'm talking, they're, they're goblins. They're not, they're not that yeah. good. So. All right, so, yeah, you roll through them. <laughs> that was beautiful. Well, I can move too, then. Yep. I, I, I mean, I, I didn't mean to go out of order. Then I don't know if that, how that works. Uh, it's fine. We're no, you know, this isn't life or death here. Okay, Ish. so I'm just gonna move. Wait a minute. One, one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna move around like that. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. <laughs> and unfortunately, go ahead and have Hagertha if she wants to take that attack. She do, she do. Um, although seeing this gigantic dude nearly cleave the dwarf in half, um, is there like a five foot step? Is that a thing? No, there's not. To just get a... out of melee. Well, you can as long as you don't exit melee, you can still move around. So as long as you so stay you within his move squares, around, like up here. Yeah, so okay, is there is there a penalty of some kind for using a ranged weapon while in melee? Uh, or yes. Attack of opportunity. Yes, that would be exactly what it would be. Okay. Um, well, her is a smart girl. She's gonna uh, dance with the guy. What brung you? So, aim a little lower this time. Hey, a little oh. better. <laughs> oh, that's that's death. So she stabs through that one, but he still gets to attack. Um, just because I'm malevolent. Um, Oak and shield. The goblin's gonna try to pile on you. You seem to be the weak one because you get, you're getting beat up on. Oh. So it. it oh, I it, thought it was gonna attack me. Okay. Me. Oh. Yep. Go yeah. ahead and roll from the goblin. Hey, there you go. You're fine. Um, and all right. So now we're at the slow actions. So the 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 big guy here is, looks like he's a little woozy on his feet. And then he like shakes his head, and like he's right back in the game. Tried my best, boys. You would have <laughs> got all the goblins, but then everyone went on a murder spree this round. All right. <laughs> yeah. And goblin, I do want to say you smell like fresh water, oh, fresh right. springs. So, Listen, um, guys, I've used two spells for you people today. That's really all you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> Rife on. What I'm going to have you do is um, roll. Um, we'll roll individual initiative for the purposes of breaking ties. So what I want you to do is to roll a d6 and add your dexterity modifier, which I think is two. So you got a four. Oh. So in essence, you have a four. He's just rolling a straight d6. 
Oh. So I got a one. So your disarming shot will go off before. Let's see if it hits. Oh no. So with the short bow? Yes. So any make sure fire? It is a modifier. It was a minus four. Yep. Ah! So you manage to get the shot and it, and it hits his weapon, but he holds on to it. So he's got an arrow now stuck in it. And he's going to come down um, and he's going to try to attack uh, Oakenshield again. Oakenshield, go ahead and roll. Ten. All right. So you basically like he's hitting you again with the same like shot, but you manage to get your shield basically in the way, and you see splinters of your shield as he's like cracking down with force on it. Oh god. <laughs> so he big. He big and he big and tough. All right. I guess in Dalton, I do was I guess someone took a bath today. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Why are you just making him angry? All what right. is that uh what is that for? Whatever. Whatever it's for. It was supposed to be GM hidden, but it's there. It's a four. It's a mystery four. Um alright. Um uh, so I will do it in proper order like I'm supposed to, because I forget often. Anyone casting spells this round? Can I cast protection from evil on someone else? I believe so. Then I kind of want to cast protection of evil onto uh, Oak and Shield. Okay, so you're going to try to ward Oak and Shield. Hey, yeah. Oak and Shield. Hey, Oak and Shield. I think protection from evil is just self. It might just be Are self. Are you sure? It's not, been... trying to, not trying to blow you up there, dude. But No, it, it could be. I haven't... I don't have the book. Wait, I do. The upgrade is protection of area, right? Yeah, there's I mean, one later that's like everybody in a circle around you. Yeah. I mean, if it is just self, I'll just go out to the big guy and whack him on the head. Whack a mole on the head. Yeah, it's just self. Right. Oh yeah. Okay, then uh, I'm. I think. Well, I'm. I'm just gonna let everyone else go first. But well, you know. I'm just declaring spells. Um. So. Uh. Rifon or um, Vance, are you casting? Vance, you got anything? Uh, I mean, no, man. Look, what, what do I, I? I've cast two spells. What, yeah. do, what else do you want from me? <laughs> uh, Rifon would like to shoot again. Okay, but... so you're you're not casting. Okay, as long as you uh, no. now we roll initiative. To see what happens. Um, if you need an arcane text rat, I'll be over here. <laughs> all right. Um, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you do it again, Oak and Shield, because this really is your ass right now um, for the for the initiative. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna be oh bad. no! This is gonna be bad. He's still going fast. Doesn't matter. I mean, he still can't get one shot. So That's the thing. He, he, he's, he's going he first. He's going first. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> remember, he's slow, so his weapon actually would go last. But he goes like this. So the two of you get a shot. Both dwarves. Oh. Yep, you got it. Coming your way. So the 15, <laughs> the 15 hits... Um, you tag him back hard. Um, that that did about as much to him as it did to you, basically. Like, as bad as the wound was. Like, you manage, as he turns his back and leaves, like, you drive, like, the sword, like, pretty deep in his back as he screams. Um, and then he... takes off into the night. How how oh, much speed off? does he have? He's really fast. Can Rifen get a shot? He's really fast. Well, they want that's initiative. Really that's that's kind of the thing. Really yeah. Really and then as soon as he starts getting like towards like the the trees and stuff like that, you notice that his fur starts to like almost camouflage him, and like you lose track of him like that. Like he is just gone. He's like a ninja. So my 
My dog vision won't work. The it's because it's, I think it's only a sixty foot radius anyway. Yeah, I'm talking. He's he's running. He's going to be in the woods. A lot of it's going to be the fact that um, he's covered. He's concealed. That's what it is. He's got concealment because he's behind things. So okay. that's it. But he moves really fast, comparatively to y'all, especially. Um, so he takes off. He just books it. Okay. Okay. Oh, you all forgive me. I, uh, I was so distracted by Arnie's suffering and tending to him that I have no idea where we are or why we just killed all those goblins. <laughs> Uh, literally all that happened while you were gone is, uh, we left the cave and we're going back to camp. And then ambushed by goblins plus their furry buddy. Yep. Yeah. Classic. Wait, was that a bugbear? I don't know, was it? I thought. I thought so right and approaches the group and, uh, assesses the damage on everything. Oh there, friend Ooh, elf. Hello, hello. How, how goes there? Well, we'd certainly appreciate your assistance. Yeah, well, I see goblins and I go shooting. Well, thank you for your <laughs> this help. is not an elvish attitude. He could be, he's young. He's only like 200. <laughs> 123, thank you very much. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> Old man. <laughs> well, we very certainly young. Have very appreciate young. your help. Uh, what, uh, are you traveling out here alone? These roads are dangerous, as you can see. Oh, no, my trade is spider silk. I hear, uh, someone's very keen on that aspect around here. Certainly could be. Uh, well, we're headed back. We have a camp up the way here that's, uh, some small measure of defense. You're welcome to join us if you'd like. That would be my honor. Thank you very much. I'm, and... I'm right... For adventure and experience. And uh, if, you have, if you have anything that could help us with our uh, half orc here, it would also be greatly appreciated. Unless he wants to not move anymore, I don't think I could help him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't catch your name, sir. My apologies. The name is Rifen Hastios. And Ms. Vance, um, my friends can introduce themselves. I'm throwing Oak and Shield. I am Horace Sherwood. Who's Guys, over there you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, who's, who's unconscious over there in the corner? I'm Artie. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the the shield maiden will just kind of lit like tilt a sword at you, and she'll just say, "They call me Goethe." Hmm. Well, we we should move. Um, Arnie here is look even more gray and green than usual. Okay, we so, must get him to a doctor immediately. You guys manage to uh, get back. I'm talking. Unless you guys want to, like, start trailblazing overnight, um, it's going on, like, 9 o'clock at night, basically, um, by the time you get back to your kind of base camp. Yeah, nah, I think I think we should just rest for the night, like... This at- man needs a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> As you come back, um, you're... Um, your bed rolls are all kind of laid out. Um, there's actually um, a, a small like fire, um, and on the spit basically is roasting some like small, you know, um, game like some sort of rabbit or something like that. Maybe a pheasant or two. Um, you guys have some cups laid out that have some wine in them, um, and you see, um, you know, the two guards that are just kind of sitting there like doing their guard thing, um, and you see like. Uh, Eric, uh, the cart man, he has basically, like, set up your camp for you. 
And then he it's sees welcome he... sights in these trying times. <laughs> but when he sees like he Ar- might... Arnie down, he's like, "Oh my goodness, what has happened to my master?" He's like, "Bring uh, him to me." We don't really know. And he basically like lays Arnie down and starts putting like cold compresses on him and stuff like that. As Arnie coughs a little and like goes in and out of consciousness. <coughs> <coughs> So well, Arnie's just dead, isn't he? From the rats, right? He is not dead. You don't know what's wrong with Arnie. That's that's part of the game. Like you don't know. He he looks very sick. My now, theory is that his lich master is finally fed up with him and is siphoning off his life force to fuel his own evil magic. But you know, it could be or anything. It's it could his be rats. sword, you know? Or it's his yeah. sword. What is this lich you speak of? Yeah. <laughs> Undead what things indeed. must eat the sword. <laughs> I like this guy. Uh, so anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, well, we we need to make a decision. So, um, uh, I don't think any of us have uh, either the medicine or the knowledge to treat whatever it is that ails poor Arnie. And we, we don't try to have get him the in the wagon and go back to. We don't have the time to go back to uh, any of the keeps because, well. Yeah. We're going to be passing out before we do. Well, my thought was that, um, you know, we do have the cart and the, the horses. It's uh, be easier to, to go in shifts if we were to, to try to head back to town with Arnie won't be able to travel except in the, the wagon anyway. Um, Eric, the cart man, will say, um, he's like, if you would allow me the assistance of these two men, and he points to the guards... He says, I would be more than willing to, to take him myself. I will brave the uh, the roughs in the wilds, and I will get him back to the nearest settlement. I think that's the thing to do, then. Um, Rifen agrees. Uh, we, should, uh, we should probably let him take some gold for the, you know, Indeed. payment of healing. Well, we'll, uh, we'll rifle Arnie's pockets. Let's see what the man's got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Arnie what? has uh, Arnie has a total of Tough friends here. Not what much. What do you think? Right? This was socialized medicine. Yeah, he has three gold. He has thirteen. Yeah. He has thirteen electrum, and he has five copper pieces. That's that's a start. <laughs> so there you go. You well, can get that, and he has some moonshine. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Arnie was that'll more, be uh, for. Arnie was more of a live in the moment kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> but like, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, so but one thousand silver. Uh, how many? The four thousand silver is how many in gold? Four hundred. It's four hundred. Well, Look, okay. the cost of a doctor is like three gold per day, so uh, we can just, you know. Put a little fifty GP pouch in there for him or whatever. Be all right. Yeah. Heal. Yeah. Well, heal is one hundred per month. Yeah. So like yeah. three gold a day, something like that. So yeah, let's give him fifty gold. So, yeah. We'll be back to check on uh, Arnie before. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, we can give him, you know, fifty gold will cover a good long while. And but then, where is he going with Arnie? Is he going to Iron Guard or is he going to? Uh, he needs to go to Iron Guard. Yeah. Or is he going to? Uh, Bog Town. Bog Town. Hey, what he, is this servant's name? He did say that he would take him to the nearest settlement. Yeah, so it's Bog Town. Uh. Well, I mean, we can tell them to do whatever we like. There, there are our hired mans, but you know, uh, it's that much yeah. further to travel on these treacherous roads. Wait, yes. how about this? We can tell them to go, for just for tonight go to Park Park Town. Yeah, and in the morning, go to uh, Iron Gold. Yeah, if they yeah. can't find a healer in Bog Town. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then that, that's what they'll do. So, just to let you guys know out of character, because I don't want there to be like, oh. Um, so, it's not that, like, you know, 
Eric didn't like playing Arnie or anything like that. Arnie got diseased. <laughs> that was that one he rolled when he got bit by the rats. That yeah, will, that's what I thought. That will take his character out of play for in game roughly a month. So I basically got in touch with Eric and I was like, listen, your guy's going to be gone for a month. Like, what do you want to do? So he's like, I want to play an elf. And I was like, all right, let's play an elf. Nice. So Arnie can return, um, but I didn't want him to have nothing to do. So um, he wanted to be Eric the cart man, but I was like, eh, let's Eric's an NPC. So let's keep him there. <laughs> Eric suddenly develops massive <laughs> biceps and a thirst for yeah. swords. Yeah. I almost let him go with it because he was like, I want to play an elf. And I'm like, well, I've never said that Eric wasn't an elf. And I was just going to have him like <laughs> take his hat off and he had pointed ears and he was like the chubbiest elf that ever lived. <laughs> I decided to get the chubby elf for a while. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so um, I'm gonna have y'all. You'll sleep overnight. You'll get your rest. Uh, can we can we move our camp into our safe room since uh, we don't have the guards and everything? Uh, yeah, that's that's not a problem. So you guys right. are able to transition back to your your room that you normally use. Staple up the doors <laughs> like you do. Um, and well, the idea though is that we have we have like the horses and stuff still. Yeah. Like, oh. So even if they take even if they take the wagon. And and Arnie, we've still got the horses. Yep. Uh, so. so we should probably stay outside and just sleep in shed. Wait, I thought. Wait, true. We got six horses. By right. the way, yeah. And we can also like we can leave the horses at the foot of the keep, like in the um the gatehouse area, while we sleep up on the battlement and still have like a view and defensible position and stuff. I would say. By the way, Horace, oh. you think if you went to a town? And- and got a proper like um, key lock, like you could probably f- put another lock on the door, so then you guys would have a key, <laughs> and you could lock a door. Oh, hypothetically, hypothetically, you you know you think that that's within your your uh, you know engineering abilities. So just something to think about. Hey, uh, another thing, Coins. In the morning, can you heal me up? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you some heals in the morning. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll we'll just say it's morning so everyone gets their spells back um that they had. Um and so you one. one. Now You also heal one, right? You do. You heal one point. So, um Horus, you normally do two and two, like two heals and two protections. Do you want to do I'm more heals? I'm going to do three heals okay. and so, one protection. Okay. And then I assume you're going to spend a heal right out of the gate? Uh, Yeah, oh. let's let's see how good my heal is on uh, Tasso. Okay. I got 14, which is about half my health. Uh, so. You now get six more. Okay. That means I get 20 out of 29. So, so uh... Bad. Does is anyone else feeling very very weak? No. Like, does anyone else need a healing? I'm feeling better than ever. Ready to go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Then I'll just spend a second one on uh, Tasso. No. What? Hmm. I'm at 15 out of 24, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm going to spend another heal on Tasso. So. Okay, go ahead. So you get five. five more. Okay. So, I have 29. <laughs> so everyone spend a ration, or you can eat four of the rations that, you know, you you, you acquired. Um, yeah. So Arnie's gone. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll I'll eat one of my own rations, and you guys can have the uh, the other four rations. All right. So uh, that's I thank you. Not now. 
What is your name, Horace? Thank you. <laughs> Greatly appreciative. Of what is this food? Uh, you know, it's it's this is meat. meat. Delectable. It's meat. Yeah. Uh, it's not human, is it? Uh, no, no. Okay. I think I'll eat. I my... think isn't lizard a very lean meat? Oh, it's from the lizard. Yeah, that's fine. yeah. It tastes like chicken. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've, I've had alligator before. It tastes yeah. Uh, alligator jerky is amazing. It no yeah, problem. Uh, it tastes very good. Kind of like chicken. I guess mine was deep fried <laughs> though. So anything fried, like all of a sudden, like it becomes. Yeah. For those listening in the game uh, world, uh, we're all from Florida, so eating alligator is not a, a terribly <laughs> unusual thing. <laughs> I have had it many times as well. So. Um, all right. Uh, so the, the next day, are y'all going to head straight back into the into the pit? Sure. No, no. I think I think we should head. Should we head back to the capital? Because we got a lot of stuff we need to get uh, looked at. Oh, we, we were going to do that, actually. Yeah, we um, have a lot of magical items. Uh, let me, uh, let me take a crack at them there, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have a chance of uh, doing that. I do. Go ahead and give uh, me the rolls. Can you only do one at a time, or can you do all of them? Well, it, it just got to take a couple minutes to look at them, so it's not like a magic thing. Um, so what do we have? A shield, some kind of like frilly looking bracer thingy. Shield, a circlet. axe. We have a I'll shield, watch. an axe, bracers, and a circlet. Okay. Shield. So lows are good, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I've seen this oh, before. Oh baby! Oh, it's a match set. Yeah, it's a match set. <laughs> so how would you not? This is I, I've never seen these crude implements of war, but this fancy headdress and this beautiful, beautiful bracelet. My God! So this, this is, is from last season. So since we're doing this for the first time, what I'm going to do. Um, I should have done this before, so this is what I'm going to do. Well, the funny thing is, the bracers in the circlet are not magical. Um, uh, but uh, the other two things are. And you rolled successful. What I'm uh, going to do, I'm going to transfer your successes. I should have basically said, what I'm going to do with that ability is you automatically will know, like, this is a magic item, this is not a magic item. I'm, I'm fine okay. with that. Um, so I'll give you the good rolls on um, well, the I appreciate axe that, that. and the... Uh, the thing just because yeah it's cool um it is uh it's a basically a, a, a really sharp uh battle axe uh it's a plus one plus one battle axe and it, and the shield is a plus one plus one or a plus one shield basically nice nice uh, two well uh, I certainly um i'm sure one of you warriors would be able to make use of these can i can i take the shield because you know, yeah. um, I gave Thondon my shield, and I can't use it. Okay. No, I don't want to go. Oh. Hey, Thondon, what do you see? He is... is... What is it? He, I'm sure isn't he's just he got a full play. He's probably got like two, is what I would think. Yeah, isn't he a one or a two? Uh, plate mail is three, yeah. Plus the shield, which is two. I'm pretty sure that's what he has. Yeah, I'm not sure about his decks. His Man. AC two. Yeah, AC two. Okay. I have an AC of one. So I was thinking, so. give it to Duncan. Yeah, but then who's going to use the spike? Wait, does Hagertha have a magic shield? She does not. She has oh, a... I could give it to Hagertha. So. And, wow. Thondon, okay. and Thondon could take the uh, magic shield. No, I was thinking give Thondon the shield we just got. Then you, old shield, give it to uh, Oni. Oh, in this case, 
Uh, oh, the new guy. The new guy, yeah. Yeah. The new guy's name is Ripen. Hello. Uh, <laughs> does he use shields? He he does use. I I do use shields. Um, however, these possessions aren't necessarily uh something that I desire. It's more, it's more the experiences I need. But so I, I, we got the Devarney. Okay. Because the uh, main reason I didn't want to give to you here is OS is um, you will be in the back. Most likely, offline. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just I just like having a massive amount of of a like a very small AC, just because I'm the one that's healing all of you guys, and yeah. if I go down, everyone goes down. So. If you guys would like someone to hold on to a shield, uh, I I have no problems with it, but uh. Yeah, if someone else needs it more more than I, uh, I'm willing to. Take that sacrifice. Okay, who, uh, Thondon, you, you want the, uh, Dwarven Shield? Sure, what's it called? It'll give me a plus one, right? So my AC will be one. Yeah, your AC is, it gives it a minus two, basically, instead of a minus one. Okay, yeah, 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 I got it. What's the shield called, Ryan? Um, let's see. It's I just got a Dwarven Shield, so, because that's, uh, if it's called a dwarven shield, that's cool by me. I just need to put it in my inventory. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, who wants the spike shield more, Agartha or what's your name? Uh, Rifen. Rifen. Who wants it more? Uh, Agartha's fine like... with her shield. Okay. Yeah. Rifen, <laughs> you can have the spike shield. It's a D4 piercing damage. Okay. And anyone going to take the battle axe? I physically can't wield it. No, you cannot. I already have a magic weapon, so I don't need it. I mean, I, I could just hold it for you guys if you want me to. It, it is a dwarven uh, battle axe. So um, what I do is because battle axes, there's literally no reason to use them. Um, <laughs> because they're just crappy swords. So what myself and a lot of people do, um, they're slow, so that means you attack last, but they don't have range, they're not a pole arm. They do a D8 just like a sword does, so it's like, wow, that's crap. Um, so, but what I do is uh, you roll the damage uh, twice, and you take the best one. Oh. So. That's actually pretty good. So you roll 2d8, right. take the best one, but it's slow. That's the big thing. Yeah. So either of you want it, or am I just going to carry all of our junk? Well, I got it, so... But I'm not sure if... Wait, uh... Take it? Rifen, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, Rifen. He has... Uh... Longsword, or I have a longsword, yeah. Rifen could take it, definitely. So, for those keeping track at home, a battle axe is slow, but it's actually, on average, better damage than the ten great sword weapons. Yeah. So, throwing that out there. The average of um, 5.8. My, my weapon is for undead. It's a plus three, a plus three, and it does bio damage. Then it does plus two on, it was what, uh, trolls, um, what else? I think trolls and I think big creatures, correct if I'm on line? Anything that's susceptible to fire. Yeah. yeah. So slime. Basically, slime. You know anything that it, vampires. Um, you know they they don't like fire. So, so I'm gonna use the uh, battle axe now, and I'm putting the sword, the long sword, in my inventory. Okay. Uh, so these uh. So the 
The dwarves have elven blades, and the elf has a dwarven axe. This is yeah, really. <laughs> uh, you know what? While we're um, we're doling out these uh, trinkets here, I assume, uh, Raven, that uh, now that you've taken uh, literally taken up your axe here, um, we're uh, we're headed down into the the dungeon that sits beneath these lands. Um, well, are you in, planning on accompanying us? Uh, your life would be in grave danger. I cannot guarantee your safety, but there is possibly great reward for risk. I mean, otherwise, we need the axe back, is my point. I'm going to want that. Yeah, uh, upon further inspection, Rife, uh, I'm going to notice that this is a dwarven axe. <laughs> no. I'd rather not use inferior... Uh, it's true. How fear dwarven you? technology. <laughs> it's not very elven. It's not graceful. No, I'm talking. It's a. It's a. You know. It's a meat meat chopper. Uh, not you a do notice leaf on it. Yeah, you do notice the bracers and the circlet, though. They're amazingly well elven made. Um. Yeah. No. No. They. They're not magical. You can't have them. But. All right, I will let y'all talk over this real quick. I got to grab some water, so I'm going to take a break. Um, I'll be back uh, at 9.05 if anyone needs to take a break as well. So we'll pause here for a second, or y'all can continue to talk over who's going to get what. And who's going who's gonna to do what. Um, yeah, I have, a, I have an idea. Uh, Rifen, even though you're new to the party, uh, you can borrow... What is his, uh, what is his name? Uh, did I, no, I didn't delete it. There's no way I deleted it. I'm not that stupid. Oh, there it is. Dragonite. You can borrow Dragonheart. It's an elvish blade, and I can use the Dwarven axe. Yes. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give <laughs> me. How very elven. How very greedy and elven. Yeah, really. The opposite of what it's supposed to be. No, I mean, like, in some mythology, elves are absurdly greedy. Right along with dwarves. In this one, it's, uh... Like, that's why they combat. Uh, well, that's what I was reading. They have the basic opposite of uh, cultures. Yeah. Dwarves. There's a whole shtick in Tolkien, too, where, like, the dwarves and the elves go to war over, like, one of the Simarils, and, like, it's a whole thing because somebody yeah. stole somebody else's fancy hat, right? So it's... There's a <laughs> yeah, literally there's a precedent there. I uh, this is a tiny sidebar, um, Todd. So I saw you you edited the the gold and silver stuff there. I think we need to leave the silver as the total number of coins until we can meet a money changer because that right. determines like how much loot we can actually carry. So like four hundred gold weighs one tenth what four thousand silver does. So I think we need to leave it as four thousand silver till we get to town and split it up and like can visit a bank. Also, I added the I added the map stuff in, just so that you guys know, whatever like what we found out last uh, last week. In the map notes here. Yeah. Okay, great. Specifically, that the dragon, quote unquote, is dead. We gotta see if we can get uh, get a paycheck from that orc city or whatever for killing their dragon. Yeah. That's why I took the head. Nice. I like it. That's why Were you gonna, was somebody together. gonna skin it, or did you decide not to do that? Uh, we, we tried did. to, but someone destroyed the skin. Oh. That's too bad, that would've made some sweet armor. Someone, pointing at Tasso, destroyed the skin. Who's, who's Tasso? <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, I would rather uh, it have a destroyed skin and be dead than have an intact skin and us be dead. So, yeah, but uh, uh, I uh, I was the one who uh, butchered it, so we got four meat out of that, and that's oh, nice. what you guys ate. Nice yeah, night. four meat is one of my favorite numbers of meat. Uh, I could have gotten at least what was it, sixteen meat? I thought it was D six. Okay, so I could have gotten at least 12 meat. You went for the bigger, thicker steaks instead of the smaller ones. I understand that. Obviously, yes, uh. definitely. 
Okay. It's definitely not that I rolled a nat one and a nat three. Yeah, no, you just steak. you want a nice. If you're gonna eat a lizard steak, you want like the the real thick, like the two inch steak. Oh. Also, so the elves are in uh, Thorns Wild Forest. Uh, Rifen needs the, to explain that to you guys, but I guess we can. The Thorns that. Wild. Yeah, Thorns Wild Forest. If you That's like geographically, is that near here? It is like yeah. in near it's, the yeah, duchy at all? It's the it's in the southwest of the duchy. Well, Rafen, I'm I'm curious now. Um, ah. Clearly, so, you you know something of uh, of these realms yeah. if you're if you're people of Thorns Wild. Uh, what yeah. can you tell us of the of the the troubles in these lands? So I've hunted uh, I've hunted spiders all through uh, the Blackened Forest, the the Thorns Wild Forest, and any forest in the land. I I, I I've been hunting them for their spider silk. And I've been trading them for the past 50 years. Uh, what? It's in my why top this, three kinds of silk, I understand. Why does this give me very deep vibes of that very black spider forest from Lord of the Rings? It's kind of kind of like that. So, um, okay. yeah, so for the most part, the blackened forest has a lot of spiders in it. Um, the... The elves of the Thornswald are trying to keep them from spreading to other places, um, but it's kind of a losing battle. I also have an uncle in Helix who's pretty crazy, but uh, he always finds something for us to do. So, Also, is this a dragon? I didn't notice it before, but that that's definitely a dragon. Could be. It's, it's just like an embellishment on the map. Mm -hmm. Here there be dragons, you know. Yeah, it's an embellishment, guys. Okay. Totally not a dragon right there that we're yeah. going to fight later. <laughs> There's totally no dragons in these parts. Just one See, totally man. not, man totally not a hydra that we killed the child of. Hydras don't fly. Yeah. Says you. Yes. Look, in any case. I'm, it's actually no. an eastern silk dragon, so. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> there you go, See? No, it's just a matter of time before their migration started. Hey, hey. Uh, I think I need a book on dragons I can look up. Look under E. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're uh, we're going back to. Uh, I guess we're just gonna do a straight path to Iron Guard, right? No, we're, uh, Arnie. Arnie will be fine under the the salubrious care of dear Eric. Um, we have a yeah. mission. To beat. Yeah, fair. Okay, it's just we're gonna have a real hard time bringing back all of this loot. That's what. How um? um yeah. What's our like capacity, Ryan? I'm not so like. I don't. I'm not entirely certain how how we're doing this. About 150 pounds a person beyond your gear that you would normally carry just for survival. Well, so are we going like the book rule is that 10 coins equal a pound, which means that right. each coin is like the size of a dinner plate. Is that where we're going with? <laughs> we're uh, roughly going with that. The um, I'll let you all dinner know plate. if you're if you're like dinner supremely overweighted. I will say if you want, you could have you could send some stuff back with. Um, with Eric, so that way you don't have it, you know, in essence, weighing you down. I think that that would... I, I trust Eric. So we can send him back with, with the money thus far to help pay for uh, Arnie's convalescent care and, uh, you know, make a deposit for us at the local wharf bank or whatever. You guys have an account... Yeah. At, you guys have an account at the jeweler in... Uh, yeah. In, uh, the, in the capital. All right. cool. So... Mm -hmm. So for anybody on the uh, uh, equipment list, let's make a new group loot. So I'll put I'll put one for uh, with Eric, the cart man. <clears throat> and now he's I robbed. Can keep the, the lizard head. And now he's been robbed to death. <laughs> well, the rest Great of this stuff going, we can just light enough we can hang on to it. <laughs> and the lizard head, like I mean, we can just leave it here at camp. Yeah. 
Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. we can. The one, thing, the one thing I want to keep the list ahead was for so when we go back to a town, people will see the lizard head and be like, oh, they killed the lizard. We oh, yeah. Yeah, idea. the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, town. Yeah. So, so let's, let's hold off on that. Well, actually, Rifen doesn't know this. So, yeah, go ahead. Well, actually, can we, can we finish exploring this map first? Oh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's head back in and kind because, of finish up the level we were on. And, and because down, we right? still need to go over here. Up here, like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Also, over here is a graveyard. Over here is the, uh, what is it? The uh, crypts up here, by seven and three. In between. Well, them. I mean, are we going for like map completion here, or are we trying to find our our crap so we can get our get paid and you know do our mission and stuff? But, I mean, we. We still need to complete the map either way. Uh, See, you don't have to complete a map to find oh, yeah. hobgoblins. Yeah, like exploring every room doesn't unlock a bonus level thing. <laughs> and if it says crypt on it, I'm inclined to think undead that I don't want to fight. I'm going for high risk, low reward is my calculate. No, wait, the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> wait, flip <what> that. <laughs> so I was thinking. Does spot spine thirty nine like over here? Uh, yeah. Possibly. Oh, yeah. Can we finish? Can we finish this area right here by one and nineteen? Because like it has been irking me for so long that we haven't explored that. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff down here. This is more of where you you know went and. Um, yeah, that's this the was town towards, over there. Towards the town, but the town was a couple maps over. So there's more stuff that way. You also saw hobgoblins in the town. So remember that. Uh huh. Right. Uh, well, you raise good points, mysterious voice in our heads. <laughs> Just reminding you of the things that guys, have happened. I hear you guys speaking about hobgoblins. You know, I speak hobgoblin. You speak hobgoblin. Fortunate. Well, good to have a translator along. So, can we count I, on your bow then, uh, Rafen? Uh, not in the last battle, but usually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, splendid. Can we go into this room over here, just like just to get out of the way, just to finish the middle of this map at least? If you keep insisting, or is fine. Listen, listen. I'm going to warn us about the thing right here, just so that we don't fall in. But afterward, you have to drink your juice box. <laughs> 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 Gotta keep your strength up, it's important. Yeah, so wasn't right here there a trap door? It was right. On yeah. one side of it? You guys are able to avoid it. Um, it is... Okay. Uh, draw. It's right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, you've already identified that, so... I'm, I'm just now seeing that message, Ryan, so... sorry. Oh, about okay, that. it's fine. Um, so, you come to a door. Now, you don't have Arnie the Doorbuster with you anymore. <laughs> so, I don't know if your door tactics are going to change. Um, okay. Let's see if... Uh, it's... We have door opening. You just open it like a normal door. Can we can <laughs> Let's listen. I'd actually like to listen if that's okay with the group. What? Wow, such a difference from Arnie. <laughs> Rafen, what do your elven ears hear? Okay, go ahead and uh, here I'll roll it. Sorry. Yeah, won't we? Oh. Okay, I was gonna ask if we could have multiple people listening. I do you not know if I get it for right that or wrong. reason exactly. I, I don't know if I got it right or wrong, so that doesn't he count. Failed. I, well, I don't know that. Yeah, he doesn't know that he failed. Um, so that's what but, right. but I rolled too as well, so just to uh, you know keep it keep it fair. I'll say, do you feel it's safe to open? Right, you don't hear. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't hear anything. Yeah, you don't hear anything in the room. Yeah. I want to knock on the door and then go in. <laughs> I go, hello. Hello, let's, room service. Let's keep the element of surprise here, okay? Okay. Indeed, we're intruding on these people's homes. You don't hear anything c come back. 
Okay, uh, how about we just open the door? There we go. Who's opening Man the door? Man of action. Uh, I'll open the door. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I will not bump down to the door, but I will open the door. All right. And boop. So you come in, and it looks like an old uh, dormitory. So uh, it, it's got a lot of, like, uh, bunk beds, but a lot of them have been broken um, into pieces. And um, it looks like it probably had some foot lockers that were there that have been smashed open. Um, and there's, like, a bunch of tally marks on the wall. Like, someone had drawn, like, tally marks. And, then you know, it adds up to something like 320. Oh. Is there anything else in here? Give it the old search ski, man. Yeah, um, I can search in there. I'd, I'd yeah, what? How about we search? Okay, y'all gonna spend ten minutes to search. So, um, let me do some rolls real quick. Is there any evidence that the the doors were like locked from the outside, or somebody would have been trapped in here, or, or something? It's a dorm, not a prison. Like uh, it looks like a door, door but it's been thrashed. Um, the what is it? the The door itself has tally marks on it as well. I'm talking the tally marks are all over the room. Um, but yeah. you know, when you add them all up, like it, it, you know, it's like it's a lot. So the old insanity stewing for hundreds of days while your town gets besieged and you lose your mind. Trick. Yeah. Sounds right. So um, you guys kind of turn it over, but it looks like this place has been turned over several times, mm. and uh, so you don't find anything in particular. Is so, um, there? Does anybody got? Guy... Besides the fire chalk, any type of uh, like chalk thing? I have chalk. No fire chalk. I literally have everything. Okay, can I use it? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, somewhere on the wall, that's probably got the most like tally modes kind of someone organized. Mm -hmm. uh, I do want to wait in a goblin. Uh, God! Death, death of goblins caused by the Oaking Shield. <laughs> the Oaking Crew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> death of goblins by the Oaking Crew. <laughs> All right. Okay. You 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 make them know you're here. You know. You tag it. You're like the warriors. So. <laughs> is that uh, is that really? Necessary. Give me my Go chalk around. back. I give Owen the chalk back, and I'm like, yeah. you know, as uh, clandestine murder burglars, it might be better if we don't leave a, a very obvious trail of who we are and doing. Okay. Just, I'm throwing that out there. I, I cross Oaken Crew out and don't, <laughs> uh, can't, uh, can't tell, and be like outside of us. <laughs> okay. Indeed. That looks real good. You're like, scratch it out. Like, no, it wasn't that'll, that'll throw him off the trail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we, can we move on, gentlemen? I want to take the water first and splash. Okay. You, you clean up your mess, and then you go outside and you have to clap the erasers. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, you guys come out of the room. Where are you headed? Said south, man. South, okay. yep. Through the mystery dwarven secret door, one way door. Okay. You come this into the, the first door. time I'm here. How, how how much of this have you guys mapped out? And then uh, we've mapped out quite a bit, and some of it that isn't on the map, I remember. All right, here I'll look at your guys' notes. Oh, nice. I see um, where you guys have been. Realistically, though, maybe two percent. It's uh, goes pretty deep. I'm told. All right. <laughs> All right. So you come to the crossroads, and you can tell that. Oh, hold on. Reveal. With your light, you can tell that that kind of starts opening up into a room, and that starts opening up into a room. Mm hmm. You guys want to explore these rooms while we're here? Let's go. Sure. Which one first? Right or left? Left. left. 
<laughs> okay, glad that's such a uniform decision. Left it is. So, let me make sure, because, you know, left, like that left, stage left. I oh, know. indeed, oh. yes. Absolute God left. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you move into this room, and um, there's a bunch of crumbling frescoes all over the area, basically. the You know, it's got a sagging ceiling, and um, there's just, like, all these, like, frescoes that basically were kind of all over the wall. Um, and it looks like they're they're just crumbling with age. So a lot still, of debris, uh, a lot of debris on the like, ground like and things like that. It looks like this might have been part of the dwarven area, but the frescoes have been ruined. Um, mm. There might be a little those bit of like, goblin spore around like here too. Those are like exquisite paintings on the walls. Yeah, the the yeah, they're frescoes. Think of Greek. Yeah. Could we know, like, because usually paintings like this talks about some type of historic event. Would we know yeah. what it is? Like, what we're referring to? I'm sorry, repeat that? I didn't catch that. Would the dwarves know what it is? What the fresco is of? It's so crumbled, it's hard to make out. You think it's possibly like when the the Forge Father was creating the Dwarven race, uh, because the Dwarves have their own myth on like how the world was created, and like in essence, like you know he uh, you know created like one, but he didn't leave it in the kiln long enough, so it came out like he made clay like a clay person, and he did leave it in the kiln long enough, and so it was very soft, and that became the elves. And then, like, um, <laughs> then, um, what is it? He put one in, and, like, he made the proportions a little goofy and a little wrong, and that's how, like, the halflings came about. So then he made one that was kind of in the middle, and he left it in to the point that it was perfectly hard and, like, amazingly awesome, and that's how the dwarves were made. So you think that that's kind of what the fresco was that was, like, up here. Okay. Can we uh, search around to see if uh, anything else is in here or no? If you want. You can always search. It's just if you want to spend the 10 minutes to do it. Here, I'd like yeah. to go out and to maybe search the hallway. Not necessarily search it, but keep our backs. Like, All right. So you're watching, watching the back. Um, is everyone going to just do some searching in the room? I guess I'll do some... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do some searching. Okay. I want to see if I can hear, kind of go out like here. Okay. Listen, see if I can hear anything down over here. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll cover the door. Covering the door. All right. So you don't manage uh, to, f to find anything. And... When you're listening and you're taking some time, you do hear a little like um, like chittering over there, like towards the east, um, and a little chittering and like scurrying noises, little like scuttles, like t -t 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 -t. and like um, you hear a little like you know t -t 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 kind of noises and stuff like that coming from that direction. Light bug. Hi. Remember, there are three foot rats down here, so. Oh, yeah. That have diseases. Could I determine, like, how many, like, noises? Like, no, nah, that, that, that's a little tough to determine yeah. exactly how many. Um, but you definitely yeah. hear something down there. So I do want to kind of, like, whisper kind of back. Like, I do hear something. Over there. Uh, like should we go in and kill them? Or see what yeah. they are for that yeah, matter? Let's, let's see what it is first. Let's. We murder we have it. We a yes. surprise on our side, so let's not give that up willy nilly. Quite. Uh, I was right, thinking. So, so you're going to come over here? 
So or sneakily, no. though. All right. So you're well. You're trying. Everyone to... has heavy armor on. Well, <laughs> you have heavy armor. I do as well. I'm wearing a bathrobe, <laughs> but with like fancy stones on it. That's how you know it's a wizard. Wait, a, wait a second. The the elf has plate mail. I do have plate. Yes, but it's like fancy elf plate, so it looks yeah. like it's made of leaves of metal and stuff. It's engraved. <laughs> Haven't you seen it's Lord of the Rings, man? Metal. Those guys wear like all sorts of like badass armor. Um, yeah, fair. So you come into the room and. There's a bunch of refuse in here. Um, there's a bunch of like moldy bones and scraps of food. There's a bunch of poop, um, and nice, nice. it um, by the lookings of it, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, you don't really have any. Yeah, the what is it, Rayfon? You recognize it as orc spore uh, for sure. Mm. Um, so it's definitely there. And you see, like, running around in the, um, like, or, going through or. all the mess is a, is a bunch of giant spider or spiders. Ugh, I have that on the brain. A bunch of giant rats. But none of them, have uh, no but, they haven't noticed you yet. What is this place? How it's many? like, a, it's where, like, you know. It's the trash heap from ah. the orcs that lived over here that we killed the other day. Yeah. How, how many is there? Is it? There's roughly five rats. It's kind of hard to keep track because they keep going in and out and underneath trash and everything like that, and they're just gnawing on stuff and then moving around. But you would guess somewhere in the round five. Listen, let's, think, let's just back back out. There's yeah, I think this is something that doesn't need to be a problem. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Everyone roll a d6 for me. And tell um, me if you get a one. I got a one. If that's good. <laughs> that it's probably bad. I got a nat six. <laughs> All right. So Oak and Shield, I think you're the only one. Um, so you notice that one of the rats, and only one of the rats, um, Seems to be wearing what you would consider a dog collar. It's got a little like metal like tag and it's wearing it's got like a leather strap around its neck. So do oh. with that what you will. Are we gonna get a pet rat? Pet giant rat? <laughs> I think we're gonna find out who owns this pet. I don't think we're gonna get this pet at all. Ah. Uh, ooh, okay. I do want to relay the information to Everyone. Listen, you know, it's just as likely that we murdered its owner a few days ago when we were down here before, so. Don, I wish only was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what what actually is in this trash heap? Is there any flammable stuff? Poop. There's a lot of poop there. Just poop. Yeah, the, remember we fought the orcs here who had like the checkpoint where they were taxing everybody? They yeah. went in here to poop. Is what is very likely flammable. Yes. We don't need to burn down another poop heap. We already did that episode. <laughs> <laughs> it did not end we well. can do it again. So I, I listen, could we need to let's just keep going, them. guys. Wasting I, time walking around poop. I could possibly immobilize them if we need this. Nah, it's fine. Let's just let's just leave. <laughs> Alright. I guess it would be bad for us to explode another room. I mean, we got a track record at this point. I'm just saying it. <laughs> Four times in a row, that's an accident. But five? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I assume you're moving, continuing to go south? Yeah, no. the, the junction right there. Yep. So you head to the junction. Um, you know that if you continue to go south, is kind of going more towards that cobalt place. Um, the the two dwarves. Can you um, roll a construction tricks for me? Sure. Uh, do you want me to as well? Uh, the dwarves have a Cameron? special like dwarven ability. Ah, uh, it's called construction tricks that they do like. 
All right, so Oak and Shield, who's just coming up, Oak and Shield's very handy. Um, so <laughs> you definitely notice that it's ever so slightly, like people can't detect this, but you can, slanting downwards from this direction. Um, you feel like if you were to continue that direction, like it might take you down to a second level or something like that. I kind of go up. I believe this is the way to the second floor. Oh, splendid. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So Can we can... see in the direction of those two hallways? Uh, that's... Oh, you have a little bit more visibility than I'm showing there, but not much. Uh, let me... Because remember, oh. you, you do not have Arnie anymore who sees in the dark, like, 100%. <laughs> you do not have that. Yeah. So uh, can... I forgot about that. I only have, like, infravision, so... Yeah. So... It's just two long hallways as far as you can see so far. Why don't we, um, yeah, let's take a look over here off to the east uh, just to make sure nothing will be coming up behind us and try and head I down. Okay. I second that. Sure. So you step forward a couple steps and it does start opening up into a room. And you get the ever so slightest glance at like there's something in the room. You're not a hundred percent to make it out, but you don't know what it is. It's a structure, I'll say that. It's not a you know, it's not like it's moving or anything. So I say structure. Structure in the sense the like it doesn't come up on your infravision. Like, you know, it's yeah. the same uh, color as the walls. Yeah. Oh let's shine a light in there, see what's in oh, there. Well, I'm I'm literally carrying a lantern on my head. I do want to ready my crossbow and kind of let's start going in. Okay, start coming in. Yeah. So as you kind of come towards it, uh, let me open up the room so you move up to here for now. You see. Um, it's another room full of frescoes um, that are also crumbling and, and um, coming down. They don't look; these don't look dwarven in origin. The two um, stars there are statues, and the two statues are of armored men. And basically, they have their spears like pointed out directly in front of them. Um, and there's like a there's still probably a you know a six to ten foot gap between them. But it kind of shrinks the room a little bit, so you have to walk between these two points in order to uh, to get past. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a trap if I've ever heard one. Indeed. Um, stay yourselves, friends. Uh, give me a moment. Um, Can I do uh, construct uh, trap? Uh, or... Well, yeah. Can uh, can like the three builders look for traps? Well, the dwarves have the ability to... Everyone has the ability to search for traps. Like, it's a one in six for everybody. Dwarves just have a two in six. So uh, everyone can take a look for traps. But anyways, Vance, what were you doing? Uh, I was going to get out my dowsing pendant and try to magic detect the traps. Okay, do that. Oh. So. Because uh, you've got uh, that ability. So. Kikacha! Failure. Okay. So you're like you pull out your two little pendant is <laughs> it's not detecting anything, but I still don't trust this room. Yeah. So you think that it's possible there still might be something there, and you might not douse it because it's probably you know it's easier for you to detect magical traps. If it is a trap, it might be mechanical or chemical or something like that. Indeed. I do want a wall. Point. Oh. I roll it for you because you don't know if you succeed or not. I so my, my cantrip only gets used if I actually succeed. Right, right. Okay. So I'll do the both dwarves. Go ahead. So, um, Fonden, you, you're you looking at it and you're like, there's something weird about this. Um, the two tips of the spear are actually like the whole statue is metal. All right. I'm, I'm sorry, the whole statue is like uh, stone, but the two tips of the spear are metal. And something doesn't feel right to you about that. Okay, so I'll be like, 
There's something wrong with those uh, spears. I don't know what it is. I do. Can I detonate them with a uh, turn construct. Well, no, hold on. Don't do that yet. I was thinking taking my pole and kind of step. Is it ten foot pole? And, you know, yeah, pole just gun. tap in the middle of the room. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you you kind of stick the pole out there. All right. And kind of um, feeling around. And go ahead and give me a saving throw. Um, this Good is good money's on spear darts. Uh, that sorry, would, cut you off. It's okay. The, you would Same. think. Uh, we are going to make this because it's going to be reaction based. Um, let's do um, magic wands. I think that's actually a, a good one for this. Oh. Magic oh, no. wand type save because it's yeah. Is that for everybody? Right? No, just him, just him. Oh. Should have got the eleven foot pole. Just, <laughs> just, just Johnny pokes oh. a lot. All right, so you stick the the pole out there, like the one that you the collapsible pole, and you stick it out there, and you start hearing like your the hairs on your like beard start like going out a little bit, and you're like shit, you <laughs> drop it, you drop the pole. You're like, and you you hear the crack of electricity um, between the two um, spear tips. Uh, so, you go. Dak! And like, you know, it's kind of like a Jacob's Ladder or, you know, one of those type things. Um, so, you, you it gives a good zap. So when you were sticking the pole out there, that was a, 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 like a lightning rod, basically, <laughs> was what you were doing. Um, and, but you were quick enough to drop it. Um, to not take any damage. Yeah, uh, can I use turn construct on that, uh, on one of the statues? Or it's, will it not, not do a, anything? It's since, not a construct. It's, you know, it's a, it's a statue. Since we figured out the, uh, pressure plate, we can just step right over it. No, it's it, not pressure plate. It's not a pressure plate. It's basically oh, when things oh, cross. It's a sensor. Yeah, when things cross between it, it zaps them. Yeah. Uh, Can we see what sure. the frescoes in this room are, like, without yeah. stepping into them? Yeah, into the room? You can take a we look can at kill, it. We can kill an input, and then that would stop the circuit. So, if we okay. knock over a statue... They're stone. Yeah. And... <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking. It's up to y'all. How do y'all want to take care of it? I let's. I want to take. Uh, wait. How about uh, kind of like the cowboy kind of blue, the thing with the the bull. That's thing. what I was gonna do with my grappling hook. I was just gonna hook it onto one of them. Hook it onto like one of the spear tips and just can, tug. What, what's your grappling hook? What is it uh, made do, out of? You can do that one. I can do the other one. Yeah. What's your grappling hook made out of? It's a grappling hook. It's metal, but it's on a rope. So we could probably try and make the rope a little less conductive. I mean, rope isn't conductive. But... Yeah, right. the, the rope's not going to be conductive. So you're just going to toss a grappling hook, grab the statue, and then pull it over? Uh, either either try to turn it, like literally like just turn it, or possibly topple it. After we read the fresco, because I don't want to break the fresco. Here, while you guys do that, I think it's best if the group steps back, just uh, in, in case there's some. Yes, yes, definitely take a step back, guys. Okay, so you're you're not able to really move it, but you can like try to with with the effort of a couple of you, you can pull it down. That's for sure. Uh, that, that that's not too difficult if that's what you want to do. Can I, can I do to the use my rope and tie it like kind of like a loop thing and do the other one at the same time? Sure, uh, but that'll probably take all of y'all like probably like three and three trying to pull at the same time. Uh, is there a way wait, to approach wait, it, the spear dealies without walking between them, Ryan? Yeah, can we approach them without going between? You can theoretically. Um, kind of do like a limbo underneath it because like the spear sticks out 
So you could kind of theoretically, if you think that you can go like real close to the statue, kind of like hug it and go under it, you you know, you're you're not going to be in the middle of the spear tips. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean like go up to it and actually do some stuff to it. Yeah, you can you can go up to it without getting into the spear tips. Oh, okay. Uh, can I go up to it and uh, up to one of them and actually just like see if I can find out how it works yeah. without breaking it? You you kind of go up and start examining it. Um, you realize that the the base, the plinth that it's on, is kind of hollow, and the statue itself is kind of either hollow or it's been cored out a little bit, and it's actually got one of those like old. Um, you know, uh, clay jars that has acid um, in it that creates like a battery, like mm -hmm. old school, like Egyptian style batteries. And you could theoretically just like knock over the battery and like it wouldn't have power. Could, could we pull out the battery? Sure. It's like a really big jar. Like, you know, think about, you know, the size of like a, like a big, big, big vase. Ah. Uh. And it's full of acid and metal. How about we just pull out the jar and set it off to the side in case we ever, you know, need to use the trap for any unknown purpose? Well, oh, yeah. it, it also could be charged. Let's try and throw something in between it to try and set it off. Yeah, yeah, after we pull the battery out, just yep. so that we can... Discharge okay. the capacitor. Yeah. yeah. So it'll take you, you know, a couple minutes to do this. Um, you know, you guys are basically at the time that you need to take like a 10 minute break in order to do that. So you guys are just kind of working on this while you, uh, while you break and just take a breather. Okay. And yeah, you're able to pull it out. You kind of take the, you, you put on some thick leather gloves and stick the pole back. Um, it does one final and then you do it again and like nothing. Awesome. Let's go on through. All right. Yeah. All right. Actually, uh, what is on these uh, frescoes in here? The frescoes in oh. here seem to be more um, like human folklore. So it's some sort of like human hero, kind of the equivalent of like a, a fantasy version of like Paul Bunyan. Um, so he, he's kind of like this big strapping person and like, he you know, he explores wilderness. He's got a great big beard. Um, so it, it's kind of a fresco of like a like a tall tale. Ah, all right. What are, what are the spear tips made out of? Just metal, like uh, steel. Right. Okay. Zap okay. tone. Yeah. Are you guys going east or west? East. Yeah, we just disarmed off that trap so we could turn around and go home like cowards. Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it, Ryan. So you start coming into uh, another room. So when you come here, um, this room here, you start kind of piecing things together. Um, so... There's like a table here and there's a couple of um, uh, like decanters of wine. Um, a couple of the cups have been turned over and uh, what is it? There's just kind of uh, some bed uh, bedding and things like that, like off in the corners. Um, you remember that you see kind of the, that this is a connection. You remember that like guards came up to reinforce the area here in 16 from the south and this is probably where they were staying so this looks like it's a um whatchamacallit um like a a, a common room or like a you know something like that this is the, this was the guard station in 16 this was where they kind of spent time when they weren't on duty Well, now, uh, I'd, I'd like, like to go oh. you know, search the room. Yeah. Okay. And I guess we should, uh, we might as well take the things of wine with us. It's crappy 
orc wine, but sure, you've got... Never mind. Never got, mind. <laughs> tastes like That's gasoline and roses. Um, so... Wait, actually, the yeah, I'll, take, I'll definitely take that. Do you know how much fire I can set with one of those? So, I didn't mean literal <laughs> gasoline, but yes, you know, it's, it's very uh, nasty. Why? Isn't wine flammable? So Yeah. Wine is not flammable. Wine is flammable. No. Yeah, wine huh? is not flammable. Wine is not flammable. Wine it's isn't not, flammable? It doesn't have a high enough alcohol content. Yeah, you need to get uh, above forty percent alcohol by volume to to be able to set fire to it. So right. you guys can uh, ransack the room. You will find um, obviously the crappy wine. E- everyone roll three d six, and you every each part. That's what you find in silver. There's like a lot of different silver pouches and stuff uh, that they left. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's a problem. And who rolled the most? Me. No, yeah. Eric rolled the most. Yep. Uh, I did. <laughs> so, Rifon, yeah. you find like what was probably the sergeant. That's why he's got a little bit of extra money. And he's actually got a flask of uh, dwarven brandy. Ew. 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 I love how me and Eric wore like, pretty much the same number besides all of yep, those. Yeah, two. <laughs> you got a one. Yeah. So uh, I'm guessing you're not keeping that dwarven brandy. I found it. Okay yeah. then. One of the dwarves can have it. One of the dwarves can have it. I Ryan, can I ask a? Uh... A slightly loaded question here. Sure. Does the map like actually make sense? The reason I'm asking is because so this was like the 16 was a checkpoint of some kind where they like yep. taxed people for entrance. Um, presumably, I would think to head down this way to get into the lower levels, wherever the access point is. But like, if they're coming from the entryway here in one, and the tax point is 16 then they either have to go through 19, by which they could just bypass the checkpoint to get to the Kobold Village, go through the checkpoint and then walk through the orc poop, go to the checkpoint, then go through the orc's like hangout spot, and then through the zap trap to get down. There, There is a reason. Um, so okay, all right. I will say that. That's it's, all I wanted. It's not a very logical reason. Uh, because oh. they're orcs, but there is a there there's a there's a logic to their to their what they're doing. You there's could. a reason they're doing it. But I, I was I was getting more at like, is it for real or just janky map design? I guess so. That's what I wanted to know. It's probably <laughs> a little from column A and a little from column B. That's what I'm okay. guessing. That's that's fair. <laughs> Not to disparage the fine architects of the Barrow Maze in, in Stonehill, of course. Yeah, they they you know they were making the best they could. That's right. <laughs> so uh, it's better than my giant dungeon. Do you want to go up to what I'm assuming is 14 right up here? I might as well poke our heads in. Yeah. Okay. But then I think we ought to see if we can head out and uh, get onto this lower level. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Hello. Listen. Is it me you're looking for? Let me do some rolls. Honey, I'm home. Okay. Um, you do not hear anything. Um, everyone, I did some rolls. You do not hear a thing on the other side. Do you wish to enter? Uh, let's go in, I guess. Who's opening the door? I guess I will. Johnny Stickerton. <laughs> okay. So when you open this door, um, it looks like it's kind of an office. Um, so there's actually some um, furniture in here that isn't broken. Um, you know, there's like kind of a small desk and there's like a chair and another chair on the other side. Um, there's a bed in here, not just like a pile of like cloth on the ground. There's a like a small cot. 
Um, and there's a bunch of, like, skulls of different, like, species that are up on the wall that have been kind of mounted at, in a display. So some animal and some, like, humanoid, um, like, um, things up there. And, yeah, that, and that that's pretty much where it's at. Uh, Amateur phrenologist, interesting. <laughs> think we, we think I can search the desk. Yeah, you guys can start searching if you want to search. If you want to search the room. Yeah. Documents. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, um, let's see. Uh, Horace, you managed to find um, a sack, uh, probably you know uh, the size of a, a really nice dice bag, like a big dice bag, um, uh -huh. full of a hundred gold pieces. Oh, nice. Um, nice. That'll Vance, go on the group here. Yeah. Vance, you managed to find a um, a golden uh, armband that's uh, was that's worth some some money. It's worth a little bit got of it, cash. And uh, just because I think it's hilarious, Rifon, you managed to find a um, what is it? A uh, a big mace. <laughs> no, that like the 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 head of the mace is basically like a skull. Um, and, oh come on! <laughs> and it's actually got like a like a ponytail in essence coming out of the top. Um, nice. And it's, it's like it's probably wood, but it's got leather on it, and you think that the leather is probably either human or elf skin that's like been used to like. You know, tanned and like used for the grip. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're on the same level I'm on. Uh, <laughs> is this just, Star or Dawn Star? <laughs> just, just let me have it. Just let me have it. It's the group, yeah, group thing. But yeah, most likely yes. <laughs> I hope you know. The second I get that, I'm tearing off that human. Or leather, elf. and I'm putting on some actual leather. Well, it's actual leather. <laughs> <laughs> leather, leather, you know. Yeah, yeah. humane leather. That, rather than humane leather, I got it. <laughs> He's yeah, got very it. nice. He feels you. So, um, and that's pretty much what this room is. Splendid. All right. Well, I think, um, uh, Nice to get a little coin in our pockets, certainly. Let's, uh... I think we have to try and head down see if we can't uh, catch the trail here. Yeah. Was there anything south right there? Or was that a Yeah, wall? that that's going to the market place. Ah, okay. Let's go yeah. west. Yeah, well, no, do we want to go to Koboldville, or do we want to try to head down and find Dr. Dr. Hobgoblin? Because we might be able to question yeah. the kobolds with our newfound lizard head and heroism and get some information from the locals kind of situation. Although uh, without Arnie here to be our clandestine man on the inside, I don't know how they're going to react to a bunch actually, of, they bunch of really pig skins hate him. questioning them. Actually, they really hated him. Oh, did they? Yeah, because he tried to steal from the uh, moonshine got, uh, kobolds. You mean Aclamus? He tried to steal from the moonshine kobolds. He paid. He paid. After Arnie has a, a loose understanding of property rights, is what I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's more about freedom. Right. So, um, so as you're walking down said hallway, you notice that it kind of breaks off, so it either goes that way or that way. So... Let's Can we go to that junction and see what like what sure. is down each way? So you come before here. Before we make a decision. It. So it open starts opening up into a room over here, and this opens up into a little like corridor. Um, and at the end of that corridor. Oh, is... it's a ladder. It's not a ladder. So. Oh. At the end of the corridor is uh, a glyph 
that's carved into the wall. What language is it? It's a glyph. It's not a. It's not really a language. <laughs> we know. Let's give her the old. Uh, give her the old spooky eye. What um. Able to. Let's give the old ten foot pole. Wow. Uh, number one. Before I read it, is it some kind <laughs> of like glyph of death? Glyph of if I read this, we catch fire. One of those kind of glyphs, or does do those not exist until second day? <laughs> you're you're not a hundred percent sure. Um, you, you That's why I'm asking you. You do believe <laughs> if it was a glyph of like death or something like that, just looking at it would be problematic. Right. So you'd probably be dead. Um, you feel that this one is a glyph. You don't know what it does, but it probably requires some sort of interaction. Well, I would like to uh, further investigate the glyph, but I'll be like looking at it in my mirror rather than reading it with my own mortal eyes that trigger magic. No, I want to take my crossbow. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me do. Don't let me do, shoot let me do, it. Let me do two things no. at a time. Um, so first off, so um, Vance, tell me what you're exactly doing. So you're you're pulling out your mirror and you're looking at it basically from behind you or looking. Looking at it, I'm looking into the mirror to look rather at it. than reading the glyph itself. Medusa rules, you know. Right. Um, just right, to right. see if I can I glean the the school of magic or the general nature of the thing or, yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. Is it even magical in nature? or Whatever. Okay. Um. Go ahead and give me an intelligence check. That's that's what this sounds like. It's good for. I don't think I've made a single one of these, but let's uh, you know <laughs> try anything once. Oh, sucks. Hey. So you are pretty sure that this is some sort of glyph uh, that has to do with uh, movement, um, that has to do with uh, traveling, things of that nature. It is a ladder. <laughs> In a manner of speaking. <laughs> wait, wait, the portal ring. What portal ring? The portal ring that Tasso has. What do you mean? Tasso has a portal ring. Yeah, Tasso has a ring that acts as a portal if it comes in contact with the right object. Remember that you that you uh, it's the rainbow ring. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think this is the way to get down to the next level. And you have to use that ring to do it. But Certainly a, a thought. Um, I mean, a glyph at the end of a short hallway here would seem to indicate some sort of entrance or exit, perhaps. Uh, not that this place follows architectural rules terribly well, but uh, may, I, may I see the ring? I give it to him. Okay. The old examine R. You take a look at it since it's already been examined, and basically he kind of tells you like this is what the sage said about it. It's right. much easier for you to be like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The ring definitely has some sort of um, uh, teleportation magic on it. It's linked to somewhere, but you have to find where somewhere is, and then you could probably use it. So it's like a returning something akin like to what? But it's yeah. it the but, the ring itself is very it's rainbow like all over it. Basically, it's got a myriad of colors and uh, it's very um, you know uh, colorful. It's a very colorful ring. Um, that kind of reminds me of something else too. Um, if I remember correctly, this is also the um, ring that gives me. Plus one on my saving clothes, correct? No. 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 That's, a, that's your ring of protection. Yeah. yeah. I know. This, is a, this ring, the only thing you know that it does, and the only thing that the, the sage said was, you got to find a place that, that's tied to this ring, and then the ring will probably do something. It probably has some ability to, to move. Um, Think I can have that ring for a sec? Boys, uh, you're welcome to give it a shot. I don't. I'm thinking that this glyph may be some uh, different form of magic, though. 
Yeah, it, uh, Ryan, before I forget, is that, uh, is that rank calculated into my, uh, saving throw score? Do you know the, if you it? No, it is not. So you would need to always do a threshold modifier for it. Okay. I think right. I can have that ring. <laughs> well, you're welcome to be very careful with it, I should say. Uh, Tasa, you okay if I have the ring for a second? Yeah. Okay, so, well, uh, I can I just... Do, do you want to say, just don't force it, if that makes sense. Oh, I... Tasso, how All right. dare you? It's going on ten, so you do what you're gonna do. Uh, okay, so obviously, obviously, because I don't care about curses, I'm gonna slit the ring on, right? Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna... That, that glyph, it's, it's just something about transportation, right? That's what you've been told. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna... Mm... I'm gonna walk up to it. Okay. So, hold right, hold right there. So, <laughs> go ahead and make a saving throw versus breath weapon for me. Oh god, I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I let you walk up instead of me doing it. <laughs> oh no, no threshold modifier, no wisdom modifier. I mean, nope. Okay, threshold modifier, none. Oh, that's that's a problem. That was gonna be bad. So you take six points of damage. So oh when, god! <laughs> when you walk into this square that's right in front of you, um, what is it? There's like little holes in the side of the walls, and like fire just goes, <laughs> and it burns the crap out of you. As you step on basically a pressure plate that's on the ground. Oh, ca careful there. Uh, I'm not on fire, am I? No, you can choose no, to go forward. you're in fire. Actually, here, I'm going to do this. Um, one, two, three. Yep. So you end up popping forward with the fire. So the fire comes and like... Oh. The so you're up where D is. Um, and you're separated from the party by, like, ten feet, in essence. And you're right by the uh, Did the fire turn off? Yeah, when you got off the pressure plate, it stopped. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna tap the ring against the glyph. Okay, you disappear. <laughs> oh, beautiful! <laughs> and... That's where we're going to leave it for the cliffhanger uh, with, with Horace disappearing. All right, guys. Uh, let's off to this, uh, this door to the left here. <laughs> yeah, I, I got somewhere to be. I'll see you later. Uh. Okay. So that, that was definitely a thing. So, um, <laughs> let me do... Ryan, how screwed am I? Uh, you're just going to have to wait and find out, aren't you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and let me get my calculator. This week with uh, the fight there, we'll just do a good 300 uh, for everybody. And 30 for Hagurtha. You know, I just realized, does Hagurtha get a 10% bonus? She does. Yep. I've been counting. Ah. Yep. But, right. you know, 10% of 30. It's yeah. uh, She's she's got a hundred and forty three experience. <laughs> I have to look up Hirely. She she's might actually get fifty percent. Um, I think she gets half. She I think she does. So wh whatever experience is times it by what four and shouldn't that be fifty percent? Uh, it'd be times five. 
Well, to because she's, she's already got the ten. 10%, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, add four more chunks. Yeah, so it'd be five, seven. Hey, hey Professor. Help me just do math instead of. What's uh, that? he didn't, the guy didn't, the sage didn't say that this ring was a two-way ring, right? He said everything that I've kind of said about it. Oh, God. Oh, Thank great. You, hey, Professor. What's up? Uh, for some odd reason, it's not letting me, um, change my XP. Uh, let me take a look. I I gotta admit that was absolutely beautiful. I didn't think it was gonna work, man. I'm like, it's gotta be for some other portal somewhere. Total red herring. Nope. <laughs> listen, I listen. Have proven wrong. I know I know curses when I see them. This man knows a ladder when he sees one, damn it. <laughs> I changed it for you, Thorin. So yeah. It should be good. You should be at 1330. That yeah. for Ryan, are there um, like training time and pay money to level up rules, or what do is I it? just spontaneously get bigger and stronger and smarter now? You just spontaneously get bigger and smarter now. So you, get, you actually spawned up? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. So now you get a, what, a, a lovely second level spell? I do. I'll have to put some thought into it, though. Except it's going to be Phantasmal Force or whatever it's called, but I'll think about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> why Why would it only, like, why would it always be Phantasmal Force? Because it's the greatest spell of all spell. It's what anything it you can possibly think of, if you're clever enough, the illusion. Yeah. Oh, so, that is beautiful. So you can make a dragon or a hole in the wall or or anything yeah. that you're smart enough to think of. And the enemies are dumb enough to fall for. That's why Minor right. Illusion or whatever in 5th edition is, like, the best cantrip. You could, like, right. make anything. <laughs> like, anything that could fit in a 5-foot, like, cube. Right. I use that all the time. Like, I would just constantly, I'd just make statues in front of myself. Like, I would just do all sorts of things. Like, yeah. So, yeah. for versatility, uh, you can't beat it. It's just a good uh, I, I, got the, I got the perfect thing you should do. Now, this is another Naruto reference. Nope. Gotta go over yeah. there. Uh, Alright, for posterity's sake here, 3D4. Uh, <laughs> bamboozled. Well, I already had six. So that be, at least beats it by one. <laughs> so that gives me up to seven. Okay, so I, I gained two HP. Yeah, you yeah, at minimum you go up one plus your yeah. constitution modifier. Right. Oh, well, minimum it is. So but don't you uh, don't you have a one the wall where you can re roll one to the twos? That's a character three? character creation you can. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just I rolled above average out the gate and so now it's catching up with Yeah, you know, wizards that's kind of their thing, unfortunately. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. <laughs> let, yeah, your get hit. Let, let your cleric walk into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the name of my next album, guys. So <laughs> look, at it, I'll look for it on Spotify this week. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I know. I know for a fact that, like, I screwed up so much by doing that. You'll be oh. fine. So are you saying that that thing was a ring of fire? Uh, a burning ring of I, fire. Uh, I, <laughs> Tasso, you do not know how much I just want to throttle you right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna call it so we can get out of here. Right, I, we will. I'll see y'all next week, Thanks. and uh, yep. we'll go from there. Have a good night. Night, everybody. Take it easy, guys. Bye.